A tough day across the NFL for players, coaches, and executives alike. Cut down day. Eagles and Howie Roseman had until 4 o'clock today to trim their roster down to 53 players. Among the notable cuts, running back Trey Sermon, who was waived with an injury designation. Receivers Britton Covey, Greg Ward, Joseph Ngata also let go. A couple of notable veterans, linebacker, we got Nicholas Morrow, former fourth-round pick Kayvon Wallace, that's a surprising name, and mm. punter Aaron Sipos, all released today. With that, we welcome you here to Bird's Huddle, powered by PointsBet. Alongside Barrett Brooks, I'm Amy Fidul. Some interesting names you saw on the list there. So, Barrett, I know specifically you've been pretty high on Kayvon Wallace throughout training camp, but he doesn't make the final 53. John Clark reports other teams are interested in picking up Kayvon Wallace. No surprise, fourth-round pick out of Clemson. I was really surprised. I really thought he had a really good camp, and just by all the rest that he's taken, um, he showed the ability to go out there and tackle very, very well, play in the box. He did everything he asked for him to make this team. I just don't see why they did it. And it might be, you know, come together as one, you know, a, an agreement saying, all right, we have teams that are interested in you. They're just not willing to trade. But we're going to give you the opportunity to go to them. It's going to be hard pressed for you to be, make this squad. So, you know, or, or, or get time on this squad. So why don't you go somewhere with, you know, somebody that really, really wants you in, in so many words. This is a tough time, period. A yeah. tough time in the NFL. I've been through this before. I've been cut before. Um, this is, this is. This is intense. Yeah, it's, a, it's always a tough day, and there's some, some really interesting moves around the league that we've seen. The Eagles have a 16-man practice squad. We know that, so a lot of those guys that you just heard there could end up there. Here is Howie Roseman on finalizing the 53-man roster, at least for now. This is a hard day for us as an organization. You know, we bring in these guys, and we ask them to give them everything they, that they got during the off-season program, during training camp, in the preseason, and we got to sit down with each and every one of them. And and uh, we, we, we do sit down with each and every one of them, and um, we thank them for their efforts and their energy. And so, you know, it's not easy having these conversations with those guys, and then, you know, we kind of try to shift quickly. So it's, it's a hard transition having as many conversations as we do with these guys and then kind of shifting here and kind of thinking about, you know, um, all the good. Yeah, you have to balance that bad with the good as we bring out our three-point stance from Bear Brooks. The Eagles, number one, B, went heavy on young cornerbacks. Aside from the three starters, Darius Slade, James Bradbury, and Avante Maddox, they also kept second-year players Josh Job, Mario Goodrich, as well as rookies Keely Ringo and Eli Ricks. Seven total cornerbacks. You know, and that's, that's to me, it's, it's, it's crazy. I've never seen uh, that many cornerbacks still on the team. And it just goes to show how this league is going. Um, the three premium positions. Number one is the quarterback position. But then you also have the tackle position, especially left tackle, our premium. And then you also have the cornerback position, being able to cover. This is a scoring league, so you need guys that can go out there and cover. Mm -hmm. Josh Job is a the guy they really liked from last year, another free agent from Alabama, just like Rich. But Rich was, you know, he went out there and showed some intensity. And um, he made the squad because of it. Had a great first preseason game, had a pick. Um, you know, and, and you know, that's what you needed to do, stand out. And he stood out for this coaching staff. <sighs> Being a cornerback and understanding that you are going to cover, but when you have two great cornerbacks already playing, a really good slot cornerback, you can be hard-pressed to make sure you get some reps on the team. But, I mean, everything that they like what they saw. I'm kind of in a position where I don't know why they kept that many, simply yeah. because uh, you usually keep more linebackers for special teams. That means you're going to have not necessarily a weaker special teams, but you're going to have probably a softer special teams because you don't have those big linebackers running down on, on kickoff returns, punt returns, uh, doing those type of things. You're going to have cornerbacks out there doing those things. So, I mean, we've, we've said before that special teams is the Achilles heel of this Eagles team. And I know Clay is like, you know, you know the, the special team coach is like, what is going on? How am I going to fill the defense, the, uh, a, a team with just cornerbacks on, on, you know, my return game? You know, he didn't have any big guys out there. With three linebackers, he's just not going to be able to fill a competitive special team. But we got a week and a half, two weeks for the first game. It is a fluid situation. This is the 53 man as of right now. Right now, yes. So we'll have to see how that shakes out. Number two, Howie Roseman loves to make deals on cut down day. Last year he picked up Chauncey Gardner Johnson in a big surprise. Today he picks up Albert Owu A. Boonam. Thank you. Oak Wu A. Boonam. Uh, oh. Got okay. it. Okay. Oh, Albert O, yes. we're going to call him. Oak Wu A. Albert O. Boonam. He comes from the Broncos in a swap of late round 2025 picks. Here's Harry Roseman on that trade. 
First thing you talk about, Albert, you talk about the physical ability. I mean, he's 6'5", he's almost 260 pounds, he runs a 4'4", um, he's, got, he's got a huge wingspan, uh, he's got really good lower body flexibility for a big guy, and you know, we had a chance to watch him together, and obviously coaches had tremendous success with that position, and some guys who look like this, and so um, bring him in here, he's 25 years old, um, we have some people in the building who were with Denver when they drafted him, and give him an opportunity and that's not a slight on the tight ends we have here obviously you know we think Dallas is um, one of the best players at his position in the league and we have two young players in Jack Stoll and Grant Calcaterra that we brought in here that we really like and um, for us any time we have an opportunity to add um, an offensive player that we think can help us and, and help our team we look at that so that's the reason we brought him in. All right, they now have four tight ends, including Albert Obu Abunam from the Broncos. Great job. He was, a, thank you. he was a promising piece in Denver, did not work out. So what do you make of this move? Um, they're tired of experimenting. I think that's more so what they're looking at. They want a guy that does everything. And he has the size, the capability of doing that. He's 6'5", 250. You line him up at the traditional tight end position, he can run and, and block a guy on the edge. Um, you look at Calcaterra, you look at Jackson. Those guys are, are more so pass catchers and, you know, Jackson, I think they won his course. I think he might be on the practice squad, but he's a guy that's just more so a receiving tight end. This guy looks the part. He looks like he can go out there and demo, and he runs a 4 4 40. So he can go out there and play um, and, and catch receivers. In the last game he played with the Denver Broncos was a, a preseason game, but he, he has seven catches for 109 yards in a preseason game. So I mean, he has all the capabilities you want from a traditional tight end, but he also has the size to go out there and block somebody on the edge. I'm loving the fact they're going in this direction and leaving the little, you know, experiments alone. The Rams saw how good he was. The Eagles saw how good he was 100 yards in his last game. Yeah. That's why they picked him up. Yeah. All right. Albert O, welcome to the squad. Uh, Eagles roster is ready for another Super Bowl run. That's our third Sansa Barrett. Maybe not as deep as last year, but the top of the roster looks absolutely stacked. They really stacked. You know, we have some prime time guys out there that can really go out and make a difference. You know, it depends on where you're looking at. You know, offensive line is deep, and I think the defensive line is deep. Other than that, you know, as you look at the uh, roster right there, this defensive line and offensive line can play with the best of them. Uh, we have specialists, you know, that go too, you know, not necessarily too deep, but we have a starting one uh, wide receiver on, in, in, on both sides. Uh, really, really good tight end, two really good running backs. This team is built to go late into the playoffs, meaning we can make it to the Super Bowl. We have like one of the, the number one and the number two best quarterback in the league. And I'm just thinking at this point, if we can stay healthy, and I know that's a big if, this team is great. Not good, but great at a lot of positions on this team. Yeah, it, it, it's going to be interesting to see how it shakes out when you look at the 53-man roster as it stands right now. But when you're when you're thinking about it overall, you seem pretty pleased with how it's going to stack out. I definitely am pretty pleased, you know. But there's little things, you know. I keep bugging about special teams. Yep. When you don't have a punter on the roster, <laughs> there's a problem with special teams. When you don't have linebackers who play special teams because they're starters. You have a problem. I mean, only one guy sitting on the bench, and don't let us go into a team that has two tight ends. That means you have to bring in another linebacker. So all three linebackers will be on the field. That means those guys will be tired and can't do special teams. This is going to be tough. We need to get this special teams, though. Michael Clay, I don't know what you're going to do, man. you got to pull a rabbit out your hat, but you don't have the players right now to field a good special team. And we'll talk a little bit more about those special teams coming Not up. Not even returner. That's right. Britton Covey's out and Aaron <laughs> Sipos, but maybe they're, they're just going to be waiting in the rings to be coming on back. we got more Birds Huddle coming up. Here is the playbook for you. Dave Zangara and Ruben Frank check in with their evaluations of the Eagles' initial 53-man roster. It's important to say it's initial. Plus, Jonathan Taylor won it out of Indy, but he is still a Colt as of today. Will he ever suit up for them? We'll talk about it. And if you think the Eagles not having a punter right now is weird, their week one opponent currently has just one quarterback. The one. <laughs> We're going to discuss how the match with the Patriots is going to play out. This is Birds Huddle powered by Points Back. Bird's Huddle is powered by PointsBet. It's time to step up your same game parlay with SGP Combo. Combine bets for multiple games and build the ultimate parlay. PointsBet, your move.